What's up guys? So today we're going to do a couple of things. One is we're going to compare a 2022 Performance Model Y shock to my 23 Performance Y shock to show you that there is a subtle difference there. And really what we're going to do is show you how this Tain Endura Pro Plus adjustable damper compares to these in both the stiff end and the soft end. So let's get started. <laughs> Uh, I think first thing we're gonna do is compare the two fronts. We've got actually my 23 over here. It's got my name on it. We got the 2022 Performance Y over here. So, you know, this is a very crude test. So we're just going to compress these. And mine did go down faster, so it is softer. And then let's see these things. Now you can see the 23 over here is rebounding at a faster rate than the 22. So they did soften this damper up. That's pretty substantial. And... Boom, big difference. All right, let's get to the rears. So we've got the... We've got the 2023 over here, the 2022 over here, and they do have different part numbers. So the 2022 has an E at the end of the part number. I don't know if you can zoom in and see this. If you can't see it, you'll just have to trust me. This one's got an F, knowing it's a later year. Tesla's great at doing cabillion revisions. So we're gonna go ahead and compress these, see what happens. Yep, my 23 did go down faster, I can feel it. And let's go, it's a race. Oh wow, that's a huge difference. Massive difference. Still waiting, still waiting. Come on baby. Keep in mind, this car does not have many miles. It's less than a year old for this Model Y. And there, there you go. That, that took forever. All right, so now let's compare my softer damper to the Tane Endura Pro Plus. So this one here, I've already preset it to the softest setting. So let's go ahead and see how this works. All right, let's see. Oh wow, look how fast that Tane goes down. All right, stock one's down and go. Look at that difference. All right, now let's do it again with this all the way at full stiff. So we're closing the valve. This will slow down the rebound and the compression. I'm gonna give it one go first, just to make sure, oh my goodness. I may not be able to do this with just one hand. Okay, so let's just hold this one down because we really just wanna look at the, the rebound. Okay, all right, we're down. Ready, set, go. Okay, so there you go. Now the factory one is faster and softer than the Tane. So this Tane shock has a very broad damping range in the rear. Still going. This is almost like the 2022. Still going. Almost there. and done. All right, so there you go. There's that one. Now let's see what happens in the front. So let's grab my 23. Let's grab the Tane and let's compress. 
Oh, the chain's much easier to compress. Okay, come on. Oh my goodness, it's really pushing back though. That rebound is fast. Okay, so ready, set, go. Oh shoot, my shirt. Look at that, it's already up. Instantaneous practically. And the 23 is, there you go. All right, now let's go to the stiff end. All right, let's compress. Oh my God, that's, that's... Well, the chain is definitely harder to compress now. Okay. Okay, and ready, set, wait, stay. Go. And as we've already researched, even at the stiffest setting, the chain is still softer than the factory damper, even on the revised 2023 Performance Y. And there we go. Now, factory dampers, done. So that's it. There's your results. The Tane has pretty good damping range. It is softer than factory. Um, as you can see in our other videos, uh, reviews, we'll just continue to do some more. Um, next thing up is we're gonna put this together with some H&R lowering springs and see how that works. For shoots and giggles, we figured we'd go through our stockpile and find Tim's 2020 long range uh, Model Y factory front and rear shocks and compare that to my 23 performance Y shock since this is revised and it is a little softer. We wanted to just go all the way back and, and see what Tim's looks like in comparison. So let's go through our same crude test. Yeah. Compress both of these. I think Tim's is still a little softer on compression. And then let's check rebound. Interesting. The Performance Model Y shock is softer than the long range from 2020. Look at that, that's a substantial difference. All right, this one's done. There you go. So that's the front. Proof is in the pudding, as they say. And then over here, actually, you know what? Let's check out these part numbers. So I know the part numbers differ. There is actually no letter behind this one. So we've got the long, you know what? We'll switch these around. My 23 performance to Tim's 2020 long range. Let's see what happens. They're pretty similar. Tim's was a little easier. Long range was easier to compress. Faster rebound over here on the newer performance by a lot. I'm not exactly sure how many miles might be on this Y shock, maybe 30. 20, 20 to 30,000 miles maybe. Um, he did upgrade to some, some newer suspension, some coilovers, uh, and now has gone back to Tane and Jura Pro Plus shocks with factory springs. There you go. Thanks guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.